Yu Yu, a 25 year old Shanxi girl, works in a foreign company in Shanghai. The frequent overtime work over the years had gradually become too much for her, so she resigned and returned to her hometown. She tried to find a job again but couldn't, so her father, a retired teacher, advised her to become a full time daughter and at the same time make a good plan for the next period of her life. After becoming a full time daughter, Yu Yu wakes up at 6 o'clock every day to cook breakfast for her parents, go shopping, clean up, and wash the dishes. She said, being a full time son or daughter is not easy, but there is not much mental pressure. Compared to her previous work, work at home is too simple. She said, I feel pretty happy at home. If my parents are willing, I can live like this forever. It is reported that her full time salary at home is 4,000 yuan or $557 per month. On social platforms, many young people have recorded their daily lives as full-time children. The young people's lifestyle has sparked heated discussions online. Some netizens commented, How can I live without parents? Honestly, it's hard to find a job. Behind the full-time children is China's high youth unemployment rate. Official statistics show that in May, the unemployment rate for young people aged 16 to 24 hit a record high of 20.8%. Zhuo Xian, a researcher at the Development Research Center of the State Council of China, estimated that the unemployment rate of college students is 1.4 times that of overall youth unemployment rate, making them the main group of unemployed youth. According to reports, a record 11.58 million students will graduate from higher education institutions in China this year, an increase of 7.6% compared to last year. In 2020, the Ministry of Education announced an increase of nearly 190,000 postgraduate enrollment places, an expansion rate much higher than the previous ratio. And this group of students will also graduate this year and enter the job market. Lu Xi an assistant professor at the Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy at the National University of Singapore, said, Full-time children are an inevitable phenomenon under the tide of social unemployment, which reflects the serious decline and shrinking of the entire social economy. Xie Tian, a professor at the Aiken School of Business at the University of South Carolina in USA, said, This situation can continue for at least one or two years because we don't see any incentive for the economy to grow. The point is that people don't see hope. However, not every young person is able to be a full-time child, depending on the parent's income. Some deeply depressed youth who cannot rely on their parents choose to commit suicide. On June 19th, three young men committed suicide by burning coal in a rental house in Luoxi village. They were just 29, 36, and 38 years old. Before that, there were many cases of young people committing suicide together.